Welcome to our quick summary series. This is a quick fire summary video. For a longer, more detailed explanation, head over to reviseitright.com. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss our 10 minutes a day daily revision, uploaded every day. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a like. You need to know examples of diseases caused by different pathogens. We are first going to look at diseases caused by viruses. There are three we need to learn. Measles. It affects humans. It is spread by droplets from a sneeze or a cough. People develop a red skin rash and signs of a fever. It can sometimes lead to pneumonia or brain infection. To prevent the spread, most people vaccinate against it when they are young. It can be fatal. Another viral disease is HIV. It affects humans. It is spread by sexual contact or exchanging bodily fluids. It can also be spread from mum to unborn baby. People initially develop flu-like symptoms. It starts attacking immune cells. Immune systems then cannot cope with other diseases. At this stage, it is known as AIDS. To prevent the spread, do not share needles and use barrier methods of contraception, such as the condom. It can be fatal. It can be suppressed, but not cured with antiviral drugs. The final virus is tobacco mosaic virus. It affects plants. It is spread by direct contact. It causes mosaic patterns on the leaves of the plant. This causes the leaves to become discoloured. This means the plant cannot photosynthesise as well, so the virus affects growth. To treat, they remove the infected plant or leaves and burn them. It is not fatal. We are now going to look at diseases caused by fungi and protists. There is one from each we need to learn. The first is rose black spot. It is caused by a fungi. It affects plants. It is spread by water and wind. It causes purple or black spots on the leaves of rose plants. The leaves can turn yellow and drop off. To treat, we can use fungicides and strip in the plant of the infected leaves. It is not fatal. The second is malaria. It is caused by a protist. It affects humans. It is spread by the vector mosquitoes. Symptoms include repeating episodes of fever. To prevent, we can use drugs to kill or prevent mosquitoes by using nets. It can be fatal. You have now learnt about three viral diseases, one disease caused by a protist and one caused by a fungi. You will find a summary of this information below. Make sure you test yourself using the quiz on reviseitright.com. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss our 10 minutes a day daily revision uploaded every day. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. We are super excited here on reviseitright.com about the launch of our brand new website. I just wanted to quickly take you through some of the amazing features on our site. Here you can make a profile just like you can on other social media websites, but this one is all about revision, the very first of its kind. You can write in questions here, for example, with, so can someone help me with the function of bile? You can post it and one of our tutors or another member of the community will get back to you. We're really excited about the revision community we can make here. If you go to the learn part, here you can have access to text, videos, and quizzes from all the topics you will need in GCSE Science. You'll have access to all the summary videos that we have on YouTube, but also much longer videos that aren't available on YouTube that go into real detail on each topic. We will also have daily and weekly 
revision challenges for each biology, chemistry, and physics, new challenges each day. And this will link in with the leaderboard so you can compare how you're doing to how everyone else is doing. And really excitingly, you can also book extremely cheap group and private revision classes with one of our tutors. We'll be updating the website all the time. So head on over to reviseitright.com and sign up for a free account today.